Hello and Proclamation, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Logitech MX Keys MIDI Bluetooth connection problem. I had three hours working on it and I finally got it working, but a lot of people online was having the same problem. Some on Reddit was having problems with it too. I was going to return it the next day, but I did get it working. I got the white model. Now I used to have the black model and what I didn't like the black model was, I don't care for the black light, but I couldn't see the lettering, you know, without the black light on. And the black light just is too distracting to me when I'm working on audio and stuff. I don't like to be distracted. I want to be focused on what I'm doing. Um, the lights are off on this. And the keyboard is very responsive. If I go into WordPad, and there we go is a lot faster than my older keyboard. Bear with me, my voice is raspy. I'm still healing from being sick. If you come down here to where it shows hidden icons, you can see what the Bluetooth devices is. You wanna make sure that that's showing. And you can go to show Bluetooth devices and it'll show my devices. It won't show this keyboard, but it did initially. Why it's not doing it now, I have no idea, but it is working. If this isn't in your toolbar and it's not on, you just have to go into your settings, Bluetooth and devices, make sure that's turned on, and then you can add a device. Another place that you can go look to see is your services. And this was where my problem was. Right click that, make sure you're gonna run as administrator. And then you go down to right here, Bluetooth support services. Mine was disabled, so once I enable that, then went back into here, and into here, and then it's like add a Bluetooth device, and it it popped up the keyboard, and then you're going to get a number that you got to type in to pair it with the computer, and so if you got that going, you should be hooked up on your keyboard. Now another problem is people say it, it be it would like get turn off and they had to turn it back on. The reason for that is you got to go into your device manager. Now I'm in Open Shell, but in Windows Search it should do the same thing. Open Administrator, and then you're going to go to Bluetooth. Now I didn't have all this extra like LE generic, but when I rebooted and took a look at the Bluetooth, um, I did. You can see I got two mini keys. I don't know why. There's an old saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And if you go to each of these, if this is all it has a generic driver detail and events, then you can skip out on it. What you're looking for is your wireless of your computer. And for mine, it's the Intel. If you go into properties, you have power management. This, where it says, allow the computer to turn off the device to save power, Uncheck that. If you uncheck that, this is going to be turned off. It'll stay on. And that's where that problem is. Now, one last thing I want to bring up was Logi Options. Now, when the Bluetooth wasn't enabled in services, it didn't show the keyboard, it just shows my mouse. Now, you have Easy Switch. And what it is, F1, 2, and 3, you can pair it with different computers. So, one is paired with my desktop. And then the second one will be compared with the laptop. And that way you don't have to go through the whole thing of pairing it together. It's, it'll be prepared. You just got to make sure that you hit one of these buttons and it'll flash. Once you pair it, they won't flash anymore. Uh, in the settings, battery saving mode, I turn off the backlight, keep the windows layout. There's a way where you can switch off the keys from standard function key to like media keys but it wasn't anything that interests me, so I just behave myself. So that's the video. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you on the next video.